This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 31st of July. Plenty of stuff to get through and let's dive in. Bitcoin down a little bit, 66. It was around 70K. ETH is down slightly and Solana hit like 190 and now it's down to 181, but I still think it's doing fine. Let's move on to a little bit of BTC news because obviously BTC controls the major market. So we can see from a Glassnode report that quite a bit of BTC, 59K of the 142,000 has been distributed to creditors, but there is more to come, which hopefully is going to more longer term investors, and that may reduce selling pressure. We've got this article here, it'll be linked below, but essentially you can see the balance goes down the price has gone up actually since then so we've been we've been okay next bit of news bitcoin has a legitimate case as a store of value per the goldman sachs ceo this sort of stuff would never have happened just six or so years ago so a lot has been changing and then there's whales accumulating btc which is always going to be the case just when you see it on chain it can give you a far better image as opposed to just crypto twitter BlackRock has also said model portfolios will make allocations to Bitcoin ETFs this year. And BlackRock is buying Bitcoin. So they're just buying, buying, buying another thousand. Now, this part is very interesting. So Russian parliament passes a bill to allow cross-border payments with cryptocurrency. So they're essentially legalizing crypto payments for trade. Now, obviously, this is to go against sanctions. So a lot of this will have some sort of difficulty or like with uh, Binance and all those sort of things. Like it could blow up on the other end as well. But at the same time, you know, all governments are really, really behind when it comes to even monitoring these sort of things. Essentially, you can go through this if you want to, but they're trying to obviously ensure that their economy goes on, but they can't use the US dollar. And the BRICS dollar, maybe that's the BRICS currency, maybe that isn't really being used properly or enough yet by more uh, normal banks. And it's probably not going to be in the US. Either way, this is actually bullish, even though it has an element of being bearish towards exchanges that kind of allow it to happen. A little bit more context, Russia to legalize crypto and crypto mining. I have no idea what the energy cost in Russia is. Putin also says cryptocurrencies are increasingly used in the world as a means of payment in international sentiments. And under new legislation, it will be regulated the same as a foreign currency in Russia. And El Salvador has reportedly suggested using digital assets like Bitcoin for trade with Russia to circumvent the extensive economic sanctions imposed on Moscow. So we'll see how it all goes. More news here. So apparently the SEC is no longer defining Seoul as a security. However, I haven't gone through it in, in total. You never know if these things rear their head again. Active wallets on Solana, growing, 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 which is great to see. Of course, just to be realistic, a lot of people have more than one wallet. I certainly do. But there are more users coming, mostly because of meme coins, but I hope we get some really cool games or something that also attracts other people as well. This is from Trader Cos. Gib, what is he saying here? Not much, just as a kind of target, maybe set some, some bids down here. Set some bids and, you know, don't read too much into it. It's simply a clean level. I would ape longs if given the opportunity. Now, traders are traders. We're not traders. I'm not a trader. So all I think is my USDC. I just go and set some limit orders and Soulflare wallet dupe with dupe and just go buy 147, 148. Just buy a bit of soul. If it dips down there and it gets filled, great. If it goes significantly higher and it doesn't look like it's going to go down there, then I just go and cancel it and I get my USDC back. Next bit of news, banger planetary call tonight. Um, I just laughed because banger is uh, a word cash always uses, so he probably wrote this. Anyway, so they have a special guest, Ansem, joining the chat with Meow and Cash. So it'd be good to see what this guy is talking about and same time as always and goes over plenty of things but in particular the dupe audit so essentially dupe was done in a very fair system now some people got a massive allocation for just trading a lot using jupiter and other people that maybe helped the protocol more they could apply they could have applied for like a, a cadet kind of allocation or a good cats allocation but this was one of the fairest launches ever because one thing is no tokens were sold outside the initial launch pool there were no vcs involved or anything like that so this information gives everything about dupe because obviously the plan is to reduce the supply by 30 percent and they're just being very very transparent so this team is making sure the community eats first and whether you hold dupe or don't hold dupe that's fine all i'm trying to illustrate is more projects that do it like this it will be better for them and the community. The transparency is pretty insane though. So distribute tokens, we know there's allocations, holdings, reserve tokens. You don't get this with anybody else. And it's, it's um, they can account for every single token apart from 1.5 dupe, which was sent to an anonymous person. I think we can give a dollar fifty worth of leeway. Remember though, you have to go to lfg.dupe.ag forward slash dupe 
and go and connect your wallets, use airdrop.link, you're probably going to have a wallet that still has like 200 dupe to claim. And you've gone until 3 p.m. UTC. Also, if you're using Soulflare, and I think you should be, this is my preferred wallet, you get a pop-up. So if you've got any wallets in there, brilliant. Uh, as well as that, if you have a BonkBot Telegram a private key, import that into Soulflare and go check if that has an allocation. Just check all your phones for any wallets that you've had in the past because it, there could be something that actually interacted with Jupiter. Because you just need to do one swap on Jupiter two years ago and you would have 200 Jupe. That's $200. We spoke about Bonk.Live and it being a, a, a launch pad. It's not live yet, but essentially this is going to have this is how it's going to be. Be a featured campaign and you go and apply and whatnot. And what it says down here is when we create a campaign on Bonk.Live, we cap the number of projects that can apply. After the cap has been reached, we start the voting sequence where Bonk lockers decide who goes to the next stage. We're now preparing for the first campaign to be live, which is cool. And if you're a project that has a token generation event upcoming in the near future, they're now accepting pre-registrations in case you want to launch with them. This person says make it strictly meme coins, which I'm very pleased it's not going to be because, I mean, it has pros and cons. Not a bad idea as well. But um, if it's just strictly meme coins and we miss out on the actual things that are really going to help the space long term. We are mainly going to focus on higher level TGs, but if MemeCoin wants to apply, they can. So this is great to see. Very, very excited and a good suggestion, but I prefer this. Super Team Earn, I mentioned this last week. They extended it. There weren't enough people that jumped in. It's $1,000 up for grab for first prize. There's 20 submissions. There's five days more remaining. You may as well give it a go. Otherwise, if I if it gets to like two days remaining, there are many submissions, I will try it myself and you'll be up against me. Pathfinders, this is probably one of my final just uh, updates on this. Basically, if you want a project, read through this, jump into Discord and give it a go. You have to hold Path Soul and uh, I'm unsure of all the technicalities because I'm not necessarily going to be doing it. I'll get a researcher to do it for me. I'm not following it extensively, but I'm just putting it on your radar because I do think it's a novel way to use LSTs. Use one LST to get yield and farm airdrops. This is VSOL. So VSOL is the vault.finance and Noon goes through a few things where there's all these different aspects. So have a look at this thread if you're keen to get different points on different things. You obviously have to go through lots of different aspects, which is fine. Um, but with VSOL, this is kind of like MSOL and like Tudorsol. As an example, you can go to the vault, you can go and take some allocation, stake it directly with validator.com, and then you can get VSOL. Either way, you can get some vault points. Now you have to have quite a bit of VSOL in order to get a decent amount of vault points that are worth something, but it's still worth doing. Next bit news, the Greed Academy. 1,100 students have joined the Academy in this first semester and everything's going to start happening in terms of lessons. If you joined, teaching you how to natively stake soul directly in your wallet, dropping tomorrow. So sometime today. Remember, there's over $100,000 worth of prizes that will be allocated to people. It's based on how much uh, soul you've staked, but also if you do the lessons. So even if you just put in one soul and you do some lessons, you're getting paid to learn. You may as well. You'll just come here and you'll click on lessons and you'll see the lessons there. Next bit of news, Eclipse Mainnet is now open for builders. We've delivered Solana on Ethereum as Ethereum's first Solana Virtual Machine L2 this milestone represents a major step forward in Ethereum scalability. Why should you build over here? Basically, not so much Ethereum security, because I think, you know, Eclipse is not going to be able to capture that, but that huge amount of liquidity. So you may be keen to jump into this for any developers, or we may even start to, to jump over there when some dApps arrive in case there's any like farming opportunities or things like that. Dialect, next bit of news. They've gone and shipped the Blinks mobile SDK. So we'll be able to get blanks on our mobile phones, which is really cool. I've also done a video on Golfin. And this is an extensive video. Just to be very clear, this is strictly speaking sponsored content. If you watch the video, you'll find out I was going to make the video anyway. And then I was like, I've already opened my NFTs. Can I get some? So just to be clear, I wanted to make this. And the reason why I wanted to make this, and I'd like to do this with more projects, maybe in a written form, is when there's a project and someone says, can you please research this? The amount of time to properly research something can be like 10 hours, or I have to get on a call, or someone from the team has to get on a call with the team in order to work out how it is. Like, it's just an insane amount of work that needs to go in. So with this, because I think it has so much product market fit, I'm really, really bullish. And I thought, I want to have one video that just captures everything. So go and watch it. Let me know your thoughts. And remember, if you don't want to get into NFTs, 
fine. But just keep this one on your radar. There's some things where I've got high conviction and I'm very, very impressed with this. And I will tell you just very quickly that they have legitimately shipped more in, I don't know how long they've been actually operating, but if we talk about from when they got their, uh, their NFT Mint pre-sale go through to now, they've shipped more than what quite a few NFT projects will do in an entire cycle. Not to poke fun at anyone, but um, like the soft staking experience is absolutely amazing. The app, I haven't played with it, but I've seen a demo of it. It's looking very, very good. And I'm just excited for what they can pull off. And if you don't know what this is, you have NFTs, you put them into an app. It's a golf caddy. You golf and play golf. You earn rewards. It's play to earn golfing. However, it's like Steppen, only their tokenomics and their sustainability model is far better. That's really dumbing it down. What's the video. Next bit of news, Killer Bears NFT, the team behind the popular Monster Merge game on iOS and Android, has released a game on the Sun Saga app store, Monster Merge. The game already has 10 million downloads on iOS and Android. And they said, this is our next step in developing the Killerverse on Solana. More games are in the pipeline and will be released over the next several months. So just putting this on your radar. We obviously need more gaming to come onto Solana, but we need to make sure that whatever's happening, like isn't some sort of minted NFT, the NFT value goes up and then you sell it or you don't sell it and then it goes down. So as long as pushing the forward, pushing forward the space. Finally, an update on Infinex, and I'm going to handle or address a little bit of FUD that I've seen in comments and just be very, very clear. One comment said, Infinex is silly. The only person that got rich off it is you, sir, because of all your referrals. This is my referral account, and this has more crates than my main one. And I didn't win anything. I've won three patron tickets, which could be selected to allow you to get a patron NFT. A patron NFT is like 5k, a little bit less if you choose to lock it for a little bit of time. I have not won any bonk or soul or anything. Didn't get any pith because I was silly and we were silly enough not to get in early. Full transparency, I've got nothing out of this. This has so much product market fit. So if you want to farm one and move on to the next thing, that's fine. That's up to you. But sometimes you have to see the, the real value of something and just keep it on your radar. Whether or not that means you put funds in there, that's completely after you. But join the Discord, check the announcements, watch my videos for updates. They'll be shipping things. It's going to take a little bit of time to ship things because these need to be audited. Everything needs to be audited. They do have integrations coming down here. Athena coming very, very soon on the 6th of August. And then there's going to be other things. Wormhole, Jupiter Swap, all those sort of things. And I'm going to give you plenty more information on this because this will potentially rival Binance. Just saying it how I think it's going to happen. And I've also chatted to one of the people in the team and I've given some feedback because, you know, part of having a really cool idea is you need to get the messaging right. So this point here is the next kind of move really only works for those people on ETH and, and Arbitrum. We'll still do a tutorial when it's live, but this relates to USDE. So if you know about that, it's from Athena Labs and it, it captures yield like currently at 11%, so lower than what you can get with say Camino or Lulu, um, but it also gets sats. And these sats are not your ordinal sats. These are sats that belong to the Athena Labs. It's like a point system and get enough of these. We don't know what they're going to be worth. They don't know. We have no idea. We don't even know how long the campaign's going to be going for. So I'll give you another video on that, but just you'll be getting some rewards if you go and deposit USDE. You cannot do this on Solana. So we'll still cover it, but just later on. Either way, this is one of my highest conviction plays and I don't know how the NFT will do. We'll, we've got time to work that out. There's just some things that just absolutely make sense. So just putting it out there. One other thing that I saw in Discord, I saw this a few times, is I put in 10,000 USDC and I should have just bought Sol because Sol's gone up. You need to at least match my rewards. Those sort of comments, I mean, I know they're just keyboard warriors or people with opinions, but they're really silly. If you want to put in USDC, put in USDC. If you want to put in Sol or Jito Sol, you could have put in Jito Sol and still been accumulating actual staking rewards. So just be a little bit more logical for those people but I'm not going to shy away from covering this because it has a decent amount of product market fit. Like, insane. Okay, let's move on. Actionables. So check your wallets with airdrop.link for the dupe airdrop claim. Ends today, 3 p.m. UTC. I know there's not a lot of time. Claim your dupe airdrop. Do that, please. Watch my video on airdrop.link just in general. 
Check out Kamina's Super Team Earn Bounty. Join Jupe's planetary call and claim the POAP at 3.30 p.m. UTC. You claim the POAP at the end. That's quite hard to do, just so you know, but you're welcome to try. Uh, just a lot of people are doing it at the same time. You've got to be into, get your address into that form because it does have some value. You can sell it on Tensor. Airdrop actionables, cloud INF media pool. Still on that, you're earning met points. It's an easy thing. Sign up to cube.exchange and complete the quest. That way you get points. I know I need to do the tutorial on that and that that's coming. Stake bonks with bonkrewards.com so you can start voting at bonk.live on projects. Check out Noon's VSOL guide and maybe swap some soul into Path Soul to get it whitelist. The snapshot is apparently the 9th of August. But as I said, jump into Discord and learn if you're interested in that. The final thing I'll mention is I'm going to start a live stream like weekly. And it'll be on Twitter and YouTube, and maybe another platform. And this is not going to be me necessarily going over things, just an AMA. You can just jump on and either in text, just ask me questions. And if I know the answer, I'll tell you the answer. If you want my opinion on something, I'll go, go like that. So that's going to start just to try and add more value to whatever people want to know. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.